Hello everyone. Welcome to Java Sumbro Productions. In this tutorial, you will learn about nested styles in Adobe InDesign. Let's get started. What is a nested style? A nested style is a style that is based on another style. The nested style inherits all of the formatting of the parent style and can then be further customized. Nested styles can help you to create a hierarchy of styles. This can be helpful if you have a document with a lot of formatting options. You can nest the styles with each other to create a clear and logical structure. Why use nested styles? Nested styles can be used to create complex and consistent formatting. For example, you could create a nested style for a heading that includes the font, size and color of the heading, as well as the indent and spacing of the text. You could then nest this style within a paragraph style, so that all of the paragraphs that use the heading style will also have the same formatting. Nested styles can also be used to save time. When you create a nested style, you are essentially creating a shortcut for a complex formatting combination. This can save you time when you are formatting text as you can simply apply the nested style instead of applying each formatting option individually. How to use nested styles? To use nested styles, you first need to create the paragraph style. Once you have created the paragraph style, let's say the body text paragraph style, you can then create the nested style. To do this, follow these steps. Go to the window menu and select styles. Then choose Paragraph Styles. Shortcut key is F11. After that, your Paragraph Style panel will show up here on this interface. Double click on Body Text Paragraph Style. From here, go to Drop Caps and Nested Styles. Then create new Nested Style by clicking over here. In the Nested Style drop down menu, select the style that you want to nest the new style under. Or you can create a new character style. Character style window will pop up, asking you to create a new character style. Let's rename the style as initials. Let's use this font for this style, anti-gravity OTF. Click OK. As you can see the preview, the first word of each paragraph had been applied this natural style. And so does the same thing every time I increase the value. You can even add more nested styles. Let's add new one by clicking over here. Let's say italic character style. As you can see, this nested style is showing up after initial two words of every paragraph. If I reduce the number of previous nested style to one, then this style will start from second word of every paragraph. If I make it three, the new style starts from fourth word of every paragraph and vice versa. Now, if I increase the number of second nested style to four, then it will be applied on four words after one word of first nested style. Once you had created the nested style, it will be automatically applied to the body text paragraph. By the way, if you want to learn everything about how to create paragraph styles and how to use them in your InDesign document, I have added the playlist link in the card above this video and playlist link in the description. Let's practice one more time. Let's create a new nested style. Let's rename it Blue Nest. I'm going to give it the same anti-gravity font. And I'm going to choose blue color for this style. Click OK. Now see, the next word that comes after second nested style had been applied the third nested style. If you are happy with the changes, click OK. Now, if you want different blue color for this nested style, you need to open the character styles panel. Go to window, styles, and then choose character styles. Shortcut key is Shift F11. Just like Paragraph Style Panel, Character Style Panel will show up here on the interface. From here, open the blue nested style. Go to Character Color. Then I'm going to choose some other blue color. Let's say this medium blue color. Let's change the font to Ink Free. Hmm, looks interesting. Let's click OK to apply the changes. By the way, if you want to learn everything about how to create character styles and how to use them in your InDesign document, 
I have added the tutorial link in the card above this video and link in the description. I am going to open the body text paragraph style. Let's go to nested styles. If you want to remove any nested style, then you can simply select that style and click on the delete button. That's all. How to use nested line styles? In the nested style section, you will notice this section, nested line styles, at the bottom. It's easy to miss, but it's rather an effective tool. Nested line styles is different from the nested styles because it is dealing with the paragraph lines rather than the words. You heard me right. Let's create a new nested line styles. I'm going to select different character style for it. Let's say brown bread styles. Notice that whichever words were not applied the nested styles had been applied this nested line styles. Since the number is 1, first line of each paragraph will have this effect. If I increase the value to 2, then first two lines of each paragraph will have this effect. However, if I remove all the nested styles, then nested line styles will hold its effect. If I increase the nested line styles to 4, then four lines of each paragraph will get this effect. If I add one more nested line style, then it will continue after those four lines. These settings are fluid and easy to adjust. By the way, if you want to learn about this section at the top, drop caps, how to use them in your InDesign document, then I've added the tutorial link on the card above this video and link in the description. Conclusion Overall, nested styles can be helpful tool for creating consistent, efficient and well organized documents. However, they are not necessary and you may not need to use them if you are working on a complex document. I hope this tutorial helped you learn everything about nested styles in Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.